fellowship away from home. Interesting. Exciting. A bit scary. First things first, I had to get my UK medical license at the General Medical Council in Manchester. It took a few minutes, then I was good to go. Next up, getting my UK residence permit from the post office. It's 10 Manchester. Done! Of course, I had to celebrate with a pint of beer. And now, the big move to Liverpool. Yeah, like a couple of cities, Barbies, maybe. Yep, I did it all by myself. Moving in was quite challenging. Hence, the haggard look. The start of my fellowship was definitely tough. Before anything else, I had to learn how the UK healthcare system worked. The UK has a government-sponsored universal healthcare system called the National Health Service or the NHS. Our healthcare system in the Philippines and theirs are worlds apart, so it took a while before I got used to it. Good thing my senior from St. Luke's was doing fellowship in the same hospital, and there were other Filipino fellows in other cities. Thanks for the help, guys. And as they say, Filipinos are everywhere. Filipino nurses are among the best ones in the UK. They help me adjust to the new environment as well. And I'm thankful to my brilliant co-fellows, trainees, and optometrists. They were all so easy to get along with, and it didn't matter that we all came from different countries, most of them from Europe. I was the only glaucoma fellow for the entire year, and it was a very, very busy hospital. Glaucoma for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I did a one-year hands-on clinical fellowship in glaucoma at the Royal Liverpool University Hospital. It's the largest and busiest hospital in the Merseyside region, northwest of England. I rotated with three glaucoma consultants with one clinic session and one operating theater session with each of them per week. I'd say around 98% of the patients I saw in clinic were all glaucoma, with a wide range of glaucoma type and severity. One operating theater session is a half-day session where we would do around 4-6 to six cases on average. Our operating lists were a good mix of glaucoma and phacos. I did mention it was a very busy fellowship, but I actually didn't mind. My consultants, colleagues, the nurses, and all the other NHS staff were all very kind, and they all treated me like family. Of course, life should never be all work and no play.
For someone like me who loves to travel, I think the beauty in doing fellowship abroad is that you get to explore, see places, discover new things, and just simply have fun. Jessa Bell from Belfast. My whole fellowship experience is definitely one for the books. The things I've learned and hopefully have brought home with me are far more than what I expected, both about glaucoma and life. Thank you, Liverpool. Cheers. <laughs>